Hello and welcome. In this video I am showcasing the Vargo Rotec BTC 550 90 remote control lawnmower. I purchased this from Vargo Rotec in China having failed to purchase a similar mower from a Chinese online site. I ran into trouble with the definition of free delivery. Um, I expect free delivery to be to the door and the seller is to do free delivery to the port. And then after that, um, some bogus tracking information appeared which may be terminate the sale from that website. So I went and did my homework and I found Vogo Run Tech after searching for remote control lawnmowers um, 550. I had a good look at the website, I had a good look at the YouTube videos and it seemed to me the more that I looked into it the more and more it seemed to be the real deal of a company trying to sell lawnmowers. So in the end I took what I thought was a punt which I now know was just a normal purchase and uh, I purchased the mower and the lady who sold it to me kept me informed of what was going on and made it very easy to purchase it and had the mower shipped to the port of my choice. So it, the mower still had to be shipped to a port but I wasn't being deceived and being told it's going to come to my house and I was strongly advised to use a freight forwarder so I used main freight once again phenomenal customer service they kept me informed um, I asked them how much to get the mower from the from Auckland port to the local branch near me and they came back with a very good price so I had to do that and all I had to do was turn up with my trailer and they uh, put the box containing the mower on the trailer for me and I brought it home just a few notes on my personal experience now um, it's a very powerful machine it's got two walking speeds fast and slow and it also responds to the uh, control lever I used it to cut as you can see here thick grass this grass has not been cut for 18 months it was on wet ground with, the, with this thickness of grass um, I was on full height with the cutting head and I just put it on crawl although it did stall out occasionally um, it didn't stall out that often at all probably over the period of half an hour I probably managed to stall it on some thick stuff or nasty undergrowth or a bit of wood that I hadn't seen up twice I had some fun with the throttle either I think I left it in a bit too much choke I was also quite rough with it to start with um, through an experience or just um, a bit of sort of boys toy madness I managed to run it into a tree and break one of the lights and since then I've, I think I ran it into to a fence post and managed to catch the other one um, if you're not going to use the lights then take them off if you are going to use the lights then drive carefully you can get some spare lights from Vigo Run Tech you can get other spares I, I wish I'd gotten um, some spare walker motors and actuators when I purchased the mower so I'm going to wear things out unlike any machine that's going to need some repair uh, all in all I really, I really enjoy using the machine it's, it's, it's really nice to mow with in order to just keep mowing effectively and, and going and not leaving patches of grass between each cut now you need to be reasonably close to the machine um, do be aware that it does weigh over 100 kg and if you're on a very steep slope or if you think there's a risk of that machine tipping over or coming down towards you then don't be in its way you won't win and I think some people have unfortunately been injured with slope mowers that uh, they've lost control of or that have come down and, and tried to get them. There's a 
great human instinct that we that we we, we, we learn to fight against as you get older. Is that you think that you can catch and stop things like cars and boats and you know, and, and unwieldy lawnmowers and then what you need to do is actually keep yourself safe and just step out step out the way and watch it go by. The remote control takes a little bit of getting used to. Initially, it's um, the the button for switching between crawl and um, walk is in the top side corner on the outer edge, and you can get this mixed up with the one that's just above the forward and backwards controller, which is the deck higher and lower. So you can end up in a situation where you're lowering the deck instead of dropping to crawl, um, which is a bit detriment because the, uh, the motor cuts out as you uh, try and cut too too deep a grass or start sculpting the ground. And this goes away as you get used to the remote. And also, if you are going to have it in crawl, then just put it in crawl and leave it in crawl. There's no great advantage flicking between crawl and walk if you're on grass that needs to be the crawl setting and um, you just need to um, take your time and be okay with that as I say this, uh, this grass that I was cutting hadn't been cut for 18 months it was, it's winter in New Zealand and it's wet ground so I'm asking a lot of any machine and this machine certainly didn't disappoint And one of the pieces of feedback that I sent back to Vigo and Tech is that the throttle either needs to be inside the body of the machine. If you go under a bush, it can interfere with the lever. Um, you can hear it happen. Either it pushes it into the choke position, you can hear the, the change in the engine, or it pushes it so that it goes down to low idle and it either stalls or, um, or you can just hear it drop off um, either way turn the, the engine on and off at the remote so you just turn it off and bring the machine back to yourself and start it up again with the throttle in the right position. Vigo Run Tech's website is V-I-G-O-R-U-N dot C-N. Um, it's got lots of um, helpful videos on there and you can also find them on YouTube on how to use the machine and how to drive it with the remote. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with the, with the Maui and uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.